so we are about to pick up this um 18 yard dumpster and i'll show you guys the process now this dumpster here i let the guys put tile in it so tile makes it pretty heavy but i told them to put it in the back and the back of the dumpster so it should be good but as you can see the grass is kind of soft so i did put some rocks in the bottom of it when i dropped it and it still sunk a little bit but in the front it should be fine because there's really not that much weight that's why it didn't sink i also put some two by fours in the front and since it is a little bit uh, heavier than my usual dumpsters, I'm going to grease the rails right now. Oh crap. My fender just broke. I'll stop by a welding shop and get that fender welded. It's cracking right here too. it really helps it so it can slide even uh, more easier that should do it Alright, so now I'll just get the trailer ready, hook up my winch remote and lift it up. There's a cover that goes here so no water gets inside the, the connector, but I lost it so I just put tape on it. So no water gets in there. So this one here, this is my, my oldest dumpster. The other ones I have, they're in good condition. They're pretty new. And this one here, I always have to add a strap on it because the doors are pretty loose. And you see how it's open from right here. 
shouldn't be like that so that's why i have to strap it down to close it up and i make sure that nothing falls off of it Should be good you see how i close it down now that ain't going nowhere and i just got to fix some of that stuff wow when you got all these fucking nails facing upwards so this is gonna screw up my tarp. Gotta make sure with the nails, there's a lot of nails in this shit. tell y'all something too a lot of people don't load them properly so they have a lot of empty space that should be good and tarp it. You see that's the thing the bad thing when there's a lot of nails sticking up it gets caught on the tarp and it starts starts ripping it off you see all these rips because of nails but i don't have time to get up there with a hammer and and hit hit all the nails down We'll find out right now how heavy it is the day i dropped it off actually the ground was more softer than what it is right now because my 
my truck tires my back truck tires and my trailer tires they kind of sunk like three inches down so that means that it's not firm firm on a ground and then we've been having a lot of rain here in Houston so that doesn't help The tarp's ready to go. Now I just gotta fully back it up. And I have to make sure that I am right on the rail because I'm gonna leave the truck in reverse so it can go under the dumpster and I think that should do it now since it is a little heavier dumpster I'm gonna activate my four-wheel drive and leave it in reverse and that should help me pick it up I'm not sure how heavy it is, but the guy did put like 10 trash bags of tile in there and tile is pretty heavy, but I'll find out right now. I can find out whenever the winch starts pulling it. If it moves slow, that means that it is heavy. put uh, wheel chocks on the back of the dumpster and then the front but since we're on grass the truck's not going nowhere let's see okay it's a bit heavy but yeah it's, it's somewhat heavy because the winch it's pulling it slowly normally it's a little bit quicker that's how i can tell when it's heavy but with the four-wheel drive on and having it having it in reverse it helps it a lot now here i can already see my trailer and the dumpster are crooked so i can't go any further up until i get the rail inside the dumpster because if not it won't be in there and I might have to turn my wheel a little bit so it doesn't struggle that much. As you can see, my trailer is facing more this way than that way. That should do it. That should be good, now I can lower it down. You can see that the ground is still very soft. This is the level of it and this is how much is going down. That's about three inches. And here are the two by fours I put under the dumpster so it wouldn't 
it, don't, it wouldn't go down. So these are mine, I need to take them back. Also, before I pick up any dumpster, I check my tires. If any of them are low, I get them loaded up with 100 PSI, and then I pick up a dumpster. Because with this weight, you always gotta make sure the tires are inflated properly. a lot of people that do dumpsters these guys leave the truck in park and let the dumpster roll but if you think about it that means you're just making your winch do like twice the work and by doing what I just did right now you're saving your winch way more life Here's the other pieces of wood I put on this side. As you can see, look, this one did get buried in the grass. But it was nothing that bad. Yeah, it was pretty heavy. Check that out. I even put a rock under this rock and that one broke too but it's good to go now let's get this thing out of here get that gate closed and that should be it Good to go. 100 PSI on each tire. Before I do leave, I'll be putting a 15 on my airbags. That should be perfect. Alright, so let's go, and that's it for this video. Thank you guys.